We are looking forward to welcoming you back into college to continue your A-level chemistry course. So we've put this video together to help you to prepare for what's to come in year 13. Hopefully it will um, give you some good information as well. Things like uh, what to do over the summer to prepare, but also having a look at what the timetable looks like when we come back to college too. If you haven't already watched the September file check video for chemistry, then please stop this and go and watch that first. OK. So in that video, you will have seen the, the detail there is about what the expectations are about the file check. There are going to be two of them. The first one comes on the uh, 14th of September, week commencing the 14th, and that's just your year 12 file. Um, now, the grid or the table that you can see on the screen there, that is the second page of the file check document that's at the top of Connect, and it's also been sent to you on Teams and by email. So you need to print that out, and that needs to be in the front of your file. Not only does it need to be in the front of your file, but you need to have completed it. And when I say complete it, I mean you need to check through each topic and tick whether you have in your file your notes, you've checked the progress of learning outcomes, your marked and corrected homework, your PPE, PPP, <laughs> PPE, your PPP, your past paper practice questions that have been completed, assessed and evaluated, and that you've got some kind of revision resources for each topic as well. So that form needs to be in the front of your file with everything ticked so that it's ready then for that file check. And that's in the second week back, so week commencing the 14th of September. We're then going to have that second file check, the week commencing the 28th of September. That's to allow you a little bit longer to get this stuff organised. This is the year 13 stuff we've been doing during remote learning. So the module six uh, topics, we've done three of them so far. So again, you've got a little bit of time there during September to get organised with that. We have been super impressed with the level of engagement with the vast majority of you throughout this period of remote learning. And I think, you know, it's time now for a little bit of rest and relaxation. So the summer is here and it's nearly time for you to just have that break that you need without feeling guilty because you've got work to do. Now, we commence in the 6th of July. Um, officially, you are still in college, if you will, on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but there aren't any team sessions, any lessons there. So effectively, you're going to have a small list of things to do uh, independently. Your tutors, though, will still be available if you want to call them on Teams or email them. OK, so we are still working until Friday, the 10th of July, officially, and then we'll go off for our summer holidays, too. Now, during the summer, you might think that teachers just put the feet up somewhere and they have a nice chill for uh, however many weeks. Unfortunately, that is not true. OK, we might get a couple of weeks uh, off um, to recharge our batteries, but then we, we will be preparing for your return um, at home, making resources. You know, all those booklets that you had, you have, you know, they all come from us. And uh, we don't get time in the normal college day to make all of them. So we do them at evenings, weekends and in the holidays. OK, so this is the reality of teaching. Um, so there you go. So we will still get some time off in the summer, uh, but we will have to work as well, particularly this year, uh, the way things have been. We're going to have to plan for. Uh, well, I'll show you shortly on the timetable. There could be um, some blended learning happening, so we'll have to continue to develop resources to make sure that uh, you have got everything that you need. So we'll be working hard for you, OK? Uh, but we will have some time off and hopefully you will be the same. Now, if we have a look at the calendars here, so week commencing the 6th on the Monday, you are still official, officially in college uh, for the first few days. No team session, though, but you, you can contact your tutor. So there's week one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Look at that. Eight lovely weeks. Now, like I say, you know, we hope to get a couple of weeks off. You should, too. 
have a look at the times. Maybe it's something that you've got planned with your family or your friends. You know, perhaps you're going away somewhere or maybe visiting relatives or just deciding you're going to have some time off uh, in your back garden or take a few days out here and there. That's fine. So plan for that. Mark off those days. They're untouchable. You, you don't work on those days and you have some good time off. But once you've done that, it's really important that for the remaining days that you do plan some study. OK, because. It will fly by and when you return, you will be returning to an exam and you need to be prepared. OK, now, if you look at it, if you do the maths, your, your exam for chemistry is going to be on year 12 content. Now, for year 12, we've got 18 topics. So let's say you have six weeks out of the summer to revise. That will be three topics a week. And then that would leave you enough time to do some practice questions on your practicals, so your PAGs, and some past paper practice as well. OK, so it is important that you do plan for that revision and that you do it steadily throughout your time off. Don't procrastinate. OK, have a plan and stick to it. Uh, because when you get back in September, you want to give it your best shot. Um, <clears throat> we won't be having time for second chances, OK? And you've seen how it's gone this year, you know, with the students in the year above. Their A-levels have been based on teacher-assessed grades, OK? So take it seriously, all right? Try your best. You want to do the best that you can with college exams because Ultimately, that's contributing to the evidence that your tutor would then use to predict a grade for you. OK, and obviously that will go towards your UCAS reference. And, you know, ultimately, depending on how things pan out next year, it could be that the exam board ask us for those uh, to contribute to your overall grade. You know, we don't know, do we? And so just be aware of that. Try your best is the message here. You will, of course, have access to all the resources on Connect over the summer. Now, I know Connect's been behaving badly a little bit le lately because uh, it's been under a lot of pressure with uh, various things. But hopefully over the summer um, that won't be a problem and it should be fairly smooth uh, running. Now, just a little reminder of where, the, where things are for you. You've got uh, module one. Now, module one tab that contains the information on your practical work. Now, the practical endorsement is still in play. Obviously, with not being in college, we've got a little bit of catch up to do next year. Um, so the PAGs that we've done so far, we've done PAG 1, PAG 2, PAG 4 and PAG 7. We've also studied the theory of PAG 5. So really on an exam for your September exam, be prepared to answer questions to do with PAGs 1, 2, 4, 5 and 7. OK. So modules 2, 3 and 4, those are the tabs for all the theory. They contain your 18 topic pages. And then, of course, you've got your revision tab, which contains the past papers and the mark schemes. So we had a, a whole staff meeting over Zoom the other day. That was fun. There was 140 of us, I think, on the Zoom meeting. And uh, Mike Hill, the principal, shared with us some provisional plans for what the timetable uh, looks like for you guys and for staff uh, coming back after the summer. Now, it's looking like there are plans to get you in on Wednesday or Thursday. Apparently, it's been put to the student council and feedback from uh, initial inquiries is looking positive that uh, even though that wasn't the original plan, I think uh, people are, are quite favouring that idea. Um, so it's not set in stone um, don't shoot the messenger if it doesn't happen. But I'm sure that if it is going to happen, uh, college will be in touch with you directly uh, and officially. So this is me just giving you a sneaky heads up. OK, that I've heard on the grapevine that it looks like you might be asked to come in for a half a day induction, either on the Wednesday or the Thursday. So I don't know how they're going to decide when exactly, you know, morning or afternoon and which day. Um, but they're trying to do that just to get sort of clusters of you in, probably just so that you can come into college and get a feel for how it's going to be um, and just to sort of 
um, yeah, do a little induction really and check that everybody's happy uh, with what the new kind of rules are, if any, and uh, you know what we need to to do to be safe and uh, work okay. All right, so that's uh, 26th and 27th of August. Like I say, that's just penciled in at the moment. I'm confident I can share this with you now. This is our new timetable for September. So it is different to what we've done before. There's some significant changes here. Um, so if we take some examples, just so I can explain to you what those changes are. Um, so for example, if you were in column three, you would see your teacher on Monday morning at nine o'clock and you would then have a lesson for two hours. So nine till 11. You would then see that subject again on Thursday afternoon between two and four. And that's it. So for each of your subjects, you're only going to have two lessons a week, but there'll be longer lessons. There'll be two hour slots. Now, obviously, you know, during that two hours, um, you know, it's going to be pretty intense uh, learning, but you will get chance to have a breather within that two hours. I'm sure your teachers will let you have, uh, you know, a five minute break uh, to break it up uh, with it being that longer session. But the main reason for having that longer session is to minimise lesson changeovers. So there's less traffic on the, the corridors and also um, to minimise the sessions every day. So the need to come into college um, is kind of lessened, if you will. So the whole goal here is to try to get uh, manage the numbers on site at any one time. OK, um, so, for example, if you don't have a lesson in column three and six, provided you don't have an, any interventions on at that on that day, uh, you wouldn't be expected into college on that day and you could actually work from home. OK, so there is a reason for this new timetable. Now, it could take one of three, um, one of three sort of uh, ways of, of making it work. If when we come back in September, we are all allowed to work in the lab uh, together, then we will have four classes and we have those two lessons. So um, pathway A, if you like, is where all the students are in and we can sit you side by side in the lab on those benches. So we don't have to um, make the class size smaller. We can have four classes and you're going to be in for both of those lessons. Now, because you've only got four hours there, we will top it up a little bit. Uh, you will do an additional kind of 45 minutes uh, directed time and we'll, we'll be giving you jobs to do as well as your homework um, to supplement those four hours teaching time. OK, so that's option A. Now, if in September we have to apply social distancing and it's deemed that you can't uh, sit four to a bench in the lab, then we're going to have to split the classes. <clears throat> so if you have a class of 24, we'd have two lots of 12. And we call those um, column 3A uh, and column 3B. So if you were column 3A, you would come in on a Monday morning and you would have your lesson in the lab on Monday morning. And then on Thursday afternoon, you'd do that session uh, remotely. If you were in column 3B, you'd do the remote session on Monday and you'd come into college for the lesson on Thursday. So model B really, pathway B is a blended approach where it's like 50-50. You've got half classes, you're in for one of the lessons and you're doing it remotely for the other one. OK, so that's only if we need to apply more strict social distancing. Option C is if the government decide that we need to go on lockdown again. So if that's the case, then we will go back to lessons on Teams and that will be remote learning. Now, hopefully it won't come to that. OK, but if it did, then the timetable there would allow for those two team sessions per week, uh, a bit like we've been doing lately with the longer session, uh, except you'd have two two hour slots instead of one, two and a half. OK, so very different to last year. Hopefully we'll all be in and we'll have both lessons in the lab 
and we'll just do a little bit of top up online. That's the, the ideal. Um, but we've got to plan for blended or remote learning just in case. So we'll continue working hard, producing resources for you to make sure you can uh, keep learning no matter which way we go. Week commencing the 31st of August then. Um, Monday is the 31st, that's a bank holiday Monday, so uh, college is closed on that day. Um, on Tuesday the 1st of September, the year 12s will be coming in for some induction and they will gradually start to build up to doing their lessons. Now it looks like for you guys um, that you will be doing some learning officially on that Thursday and Friday and it looks like that learning will be taking place online. Um, and that's to be confirmed. Um, so this is just provisional um, at this stage. So the college management team will make a decision um, the week or two before this as to which um, model they're going to follow. Will it be timetable A, B or C? And that will be communicated to you officially. Um, hopefully it will be model A. So that will mean that on the 7th, on that Monday, we will all be back in college. And so you will follow the new timetable where you'll have your two lessons with each subject, each two hours long. In our first week back together then, we will be looking at Hess's Law. So this week we will learn about Hess's Law and Hess Cycles to finish off the enthalpy topic from module three. The following week, we commence in the 14th of September. Well, this week is your year 12 file check, so you know all about that. During the file check, you will be completing some enthalpy revision questions. And we will also continue that week with the aromatic compounds topic from module six. So week commencing the 21st of September is your chemistry exam. Now the chemistry exam is one hour and 30 minutes. If you're entitled to extra time, you will get that. And it will be based on year 12 content. So it'll be the equivalent to an AS paper. Now it depends obviously on whether we're doing timetable A or B uh, for this. Um, hopefully we're not doing C working remotely. Um, so if we're all in, on timetable A, then we'll do the chemistry exam in your second session. If we are operating timetable B, then obviously you'll do the exam in the session that you're in college, because that will be a paper exam for us to mark. The other session then will be spent uh, continuing with the aromatic compounds topic from module six. Okay, so we Commencing the 28th of September, that's the week uh, for your year 13 file check. So make sure by that point you are fully organised with your module six booklets that you did during remote learning. Uh, so the carboxylic acids and esters, carbonyls and aromatic compounds as well. Make sure all your notes are up to date. You've done the past paper packs. They're ready for checking as well as your homeworks. OK, so you've seen the uh, check sheet there, uh, you'll have a copy of that. We'll also spend that week, of course, carrying on with our chemistry. So we'll continue the course. I won't give you any more detail at this stage. It'll be information overload otherwise. But needless to say, we have it planned out for you and uh, it's going to be it's going to be a good year. All right. So be ready for it. And um, yeah, I think year 13 is a little bit more challenging than year 12. That's why we want you to be prepared in this way, uh, but it's so rewarding as well. If you can really, you know, get into it and invest the time and effort into it, um, you should be in for a good year ahead. So I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching. As usual, uh, any questions you must ask and any problems, let us know so we can help you. All right, so good luck with all your preparations. Do have a lovely summer. Most importantly, take care and stay safe and we'll see you back in college we'll welcome you back in september ready to go for year 13. take care bye bye